Am I wrong for calling my friend's proposal disrespectful? My friend, male 27, decided to propose to his girlfriend of three years, Dina, female 26. The two of them met at a bar pre-COVID and got really close really quickly and even moved in together. I think they're a great match and my friend Stefan has never been happier. He told me he was planning to propose and I was ecstatic. The day after the proposal, I called him and I asked how it went, but I was shocked to hear that she said no. When I asked why, he said that he proposed to her at a bar. Am I wrong for calling my friend's proposal disrespectful? He said that she didn't like the way he proposed and I had no idea, but he thought it'd be romantic to propose at the same bar they met. I could understand why she might not like that, but I asked her privately because she and I have gotten to be close. She said she told Stefan multiple times she didn't want to have a public proposal and that she was horrified it was at a bar of all places. So I told Stefan that his proposal was honestly really disrespectful and he seriously kind of messed up. To which he told me I was being an insensitive Let asshole. Let me hook you on the supportive. easiest sponge cake so recipe. Four eggs wrong? and 132 way, grams sugar. Maximum power. Am I wrong for denying 100 for grams flour, 32 grams potato flour, 1 half TS baking powder. US every year. Mix Keeping for six for minutes. Privacy, but box seats at popular sports games and up Sexy. close seats as well as concerts. Mix and in three year, parts X gently. My boyfriend wanted to quit smoking and I shake, told him shake. if he did we could celebrate with tickets 40 to minutes, event. 170 he was degrees. And came up with a plan to quit. Well, fast Drop forward it. a month later, I Wait saw he 15 made no minutes. progress and said I guess I'll invite your sister to the Taylor Swift concert then. Since you're not making an effort to quit anymore. Now he's getting Beautiful. upset and saying it's not fair to tie the tickets to smoking. Am I wrong for denying my boyfriend a once-in-a-lifetime experience just to be stubborn? He got upset and said that it's not fair to tie the tickets to smoking and I should invite him to some of my free events just to be nice and share the experiences. I said we could discuss doing more than one a year when he quit smoking but not before. He got upset and said it was really rude of me to hold the tickets over his head and instead of trying to quit smoking, we should just go together. So now I'm holding my ground and he's holding his. Am I wrong for denying him these experiences until he quits smoking? I've never smoked cigarettes so maybe I'm just unsympathetic. Also he does want to quit and has been saying this for years. I may be asshole for getting my boyfriend arrested. I'm a college student and this is my last semester until medical school. I've never been able to get a loan and I've worked five and a half years to get this degree because I have to pay out of pocket and it takes way longer. I've worked two, sometimes three jobs and barely had a social life. For this upcoming semester, I reached my goal for tuition so I quit one of my jobs so I could relax a bit. I was a server and bartender at two bars as well as had an office job so I always had cash hidden in my apartment in a closet in a box. Well, yesterday I get home to put money in the box because I was going to deposit it today and it's all gone. I freaked out and tore my apartment up thinking I put it somewhere else knowing I didn't. I called my boyfriend like crazy and no answer. I didn't sleep last night because I was panicking. This morning he finally calls me back and I'm yelling at him about my money and he's acting all confused like I'm crazy. And he comes over and I'm still pissed off. After a while he finally admits to me that he took it so he could borrow it and help pay me back. Where the fuck is he going to get 14000 from in two weeks? I went into a rage and called the police and reported it as theft because that's what he did. Well, it's been a few hours now and I guess he got his phone call because his family has been blowing up my phone and his mother said some really hurtful and racist things to me. They've been harassing me for the past six hours now and it's stressing me out even more. His brother did offer to pay me back and said I should go to the police station and drop the charges. So, am I the asshole? Let me know your- My partner told me he was excited to start a family but went and had a vasectomy done in secret. My 22 female have always wanted to be a mom. I've been with my partner, 24 male, for six years now, and he was aware of this. He supported it, but obviously wanted to wait until we were older to start trying. But now we've both graduated from college, are working stable jobs, and are engaged. Now we are at the stage, and we discussed and agreed to start actively trying for a baby. That was about seven months ago. He's known how badly I've wanted this, and he's seen how upset I got in each month when the test comes back negative. But he's always supported me and comforted me by telling me what all happen soon. But it didn't. Two weeks ago, he told me we needed a talk. He ended up telling me that he had a vasectomy performed while we were on a trip with friends for my 21st birthday last year. While I respect his decision to do so, I can't help but feel hurt that he did this and kept telling me not to worry and that it'll happen soon and how excited he was for taking this step. I just don't understand why he couldn't have told me he wasn't ready or he didn't want kids. I really thought we were on the same page about wanting kids someday. I'm just in complete shock that he's hidden such a major thing from me. We haven't been speaking much and he's been staying with his brother since he told me. I don't know how we can work this out or move past this. I still love him, but I'm hurt that he acted like nothing was wrong. It's made me doubt if I even want to go through with our wedding now. But at the same time, I don't want to leave. So what should I do? 
story time about how my sister went missing on our family vacation. So a little background information, my sister, my family, and I decided to stay at a beautiful luxury resort in the Caribbean. Now my sister was quite a few years older than I was, but I was super excited because my sister and I were finally gonna be able to spend time together after her being away at college for what felt like so long. Which her and I did spend a lot of time together, but my sister was living her best life. She was young, smart, outgoing, beautiful, and everything else under the sun. Allison, aka my sister, was the girl who in a room full of a hundred other people, she was the one who caught your eye. And of course, all of the guys were drooling over her. There were the boys that were her age, and then there were the older men, and then there were even some of the married men. Gross, I know. And even some of the women. But she had two little vacation situationships going on. And like I said, she was living her best life until she wasn't. But one night, my sister Allison ended up not coming back to the room. And that was the plot of St. X, a new show on Hulu with new episodes every Wednesday streaming now. Story time about my boyfriend's girl best friend. So a little background information, I was 15 and in ninth grade. And my boyfriend Jaden and I have been together for two years. In the beginning, everything was great, and then we went over to his best friend's house, which I didn't realize that his best friend was a girl. And at first I liked her, her name was Anita, and she was super funny, super nice. Well, fast forward, it started to become a routine where he would drop me off at my house, and then I would call him, and he wouldn't pick up until like the third time that I called him, and then he would be like, what's up, I'm hanging out with Anita. And I felt super weird, because while we were on the phone together, him and Anita were in the car just talking to each other, not even acknowledging so then the one day I asked him if him and I could hang out and he said that he wasn't going to bring Anita. Well, he pulls up and guess who's sitting in the back seat? Anita. And they were playing sexual assault, which made me feel super uncomfortable. And she didn't say one word to Jaden the whole time, but she had so much to say to him while we were on the phone. So like I said, he said that he was going to bring Anita with him and then he pulls up and guess who's in the car? So fast forward eight months, Jaden and I are doing super good. And the one day we're driving around and he mentions that he has to pick someone up. Yep, Anita and her friend. So fast forward, we pick them up and I was feeling super uncomfortable and pissed off. Because Anita is like rubbing his shoulders and stuff like that. And then they drop me off at my house. Well, not even 10 minutes later, they get into a car crash. Literally 10 minutes down the street from me. So the girls walk to my house. So we're sitting in the garage and the girls are talking about how long they've known Jaden for, blah, 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 this and that. And how he drives super careful when Anita's in the car because he really cares about her. So I told Jaden that I'm not okay with him hanging out with Anita. And of course, when I text him, he's drinking with Anita. So then he starts calling me a bunch of names. Jaden and I are still together and we have a nine month old daughter. He still hangs out with Anita and I still feel weird about it, but I guess I'm just gonna have to- Am I the asshole for bringing my sister-in-law's wallet to the restaurant when she conveniently always forgets it? My 28 female sister-in-law Amy, 26 female, always comes to visit from out of town. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or comes up with some excuse as to why she can't pay her share. She has implied that since I make much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband should pay, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time they come into town. Nonetheless, in the past, I have just paid the bill and asked her to pay me back. She never has. She had made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night, and before we left, I made it clear that I wouldn't be paying her bill. This is where I might be the asshole, and I'll admit, I got this move straight out of an episode of Two and a Half Men. When we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting on top of her suitcase. I put it in my purse and we went to the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for separate bills. She said, no, we only need one bill because she forgot her wallet again. I reached into my purse, pulled it out, and said, this wallet? She was extremely furious. She said that I shouldn't have touched or grabbed her wallet. So, am I the asshole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Update. Am I the asshole for bringing my sister-in-law's wallet to the restaurant when she conveniently always forgets it? From the sister-in-law's perspective. This is Amy. My friend told me she saw this post and everyone is saying I'm a leech. The thing my sister-in-law did not tell you all is that she has no problem paying for her sisters and always singles me out and expects me to always pay. She takes her sisters out to restaurants and never makes them pay. Ever since she got with my brother, my brother has been so cheap. He always used to help my mom and I because we don't have a lot of money, and he stopped doing that since he's been with her. He used to always help me and my mom with our bus tickets to come see him and to visit my niece. Now he always says he doesn't have money. So maybe I am wrong for always forgetting my wallet, but it's not fair that she always pays for her own sisters, but not for me. She would never take her sister's wallet and embarrass her at a restaurant trying to make her pay. 
Taking my wallet and sneaking it to the restaurant when she can afford to pay for things is so messed up. In our culture, the older siblings always pay. She is so cheap, why can't she just treat me? Why does she only treat her sisters and make me look like the bad person when I expect the same treatment as her sisters? I hope people don't think I'm an asshole when they learn more about the situation.